Hi guys, it's Mark Two. Welcome to another Minecraft Modern Tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to add your very own custom slab to the game. So this is actually relatively simple. So in our blocks package, we're going to add a class called Block Tin Slab, and we're going to make this an abstract class. That means that we don't have to get every single method that it tells us to. Um, we will, and we're going to make this extend block slab. So it's going to inherit all the methods from block slab. Now it's still going to make us want to have a constructor, which inside of this construct we're going to do what we normally do when we create a block, is get the unlocalized name, and then uh, we need to super, and I'm going to do uh, material iron again, uh, and this dot set unlocalized name. I'm also going to set the hardness, so this dot set hardness to 3 and this dot set resistance and that's to 20. Um, that's just so it's exactly the same as the tin uh, block. So now what we're going to do is we're going to set the default state. This is because if you take a look at block slab by pressing control and hovering over it, we have this property enum for block half. So what we're going to do is make so we get set default state in the constructor. So all we need to do is get the base state. So I block state state is this dot base uh, block state. That's it. Dot get base state. And what we're going to do import that. We're going to do if and it's only if it's not a double slab. So there's a method in here called is double. So if it's not the double, then what we're going to do is going to put on this the default one, the half property. So uh, with property, so uh, state equals state dot with property. So it will return a block state. So half. And the property is enum block half dot bottom. And like so. And then all we're going to do is set the default state to that state. And it's as easy as that. One more thing is we've just got to set this dot use neighbor brightness to true. And this is because if not, we'll have like dark patches on the block, which we don't want. So next we're going to add a get unlocalized name with the metadata one. And all this is going to do is return this dot get unlocalized name, like so. Um, now we're also going to add the get variant property. So get variant property. This is say you had multiple types. So say we had the different types of block breakers. We're not going to have that, so we just set this to half. If you set this to null, however, your code well it'll break when you place your block. So you don't do that. Um, I'm also going to add one more method down here um, that's sort of to do with this one and that is get type for item. This is a new thing. I think it's for 1.11. I don't know. Um, this should return like an enum value. So I'm just going to return enum block half dot bottom. But let's say if your block had variants, so like the different types of um, machine frames, like the chip types. You would return the chip type from the item stack using the item's damage. But we're not going to do that because there's only one type. We now need to add the damage dropped method. Which is just going to return zero. Because we don't want it to drop it with any damage at all. And then get state from meta. And get meta from state is methods that we're going to have to do now. Uh, this is super simple. So... If it's not a double, what we're going to do is just simply uh, return this dot get default state dot with property, and property is the half, and it's in block half dot, and it's just values meta modulus uh, enum block half dot values dot length now what that will do it might look really confusing but basically if the meta is zero 
it will get the first one out of um, the meta. So it will get the first um, Enum block off, which is bottom. And then if it was one, it will get the second one. But if it's free, it won't, because that will break our code. We just make it so it's more robust and it caps it at two. So basically, so how many values it's got. Otherwise, all we're going to do is just return this dot get default state. So, dot get default state. Now we've got to do the get meta from state method. Um, we're going to open this one up. Uh, excuse me, why get meta from state? There we go. And what we're going to do here is if it's the double block. We're just going to return zero, and then otherwise we're just going to return, and we need to cast it to an enum block half, and you're going to have to put another set of brackets around this, and you're going to have to cast the state dot get value of half, and all we can do is get the ordinal of this value and then add one. That will get the metadata correctly. And I believe this is the last one. And it's get item dropped. And I'm just going to leave the to do here. Because we're going to have to add this in our mod blocks. Um, this is because it should just return the half version of the slab. We don't want it to return the double version. Okay, so I did forget to do a couple of things. So here, what we need to do is get the mod blocks dot and then... It's just a tin slab half, and we need to cast get the item. So item dot get item from block, and then we're just gonna surround this in brackets. And one thing that I forgot to do, which is very important, and it's just to create block state method. So um, all we want to do here is return a new block state container and we need to put this and then a new i property array and all we need to do is put half in here so what we're going to do is add two new classes so block tin slab half and then also uh, block tin slab double and all these both do is extend block tin slab both of these and just going to copy this for the other one as well and this will just make us add the constructor like so and just want us to add the last method which is the is double method yes this is going to be the double slab so this is going to be true and then here add the constructor again get rid of this and click add an implemented method and this one isn't the double orientation version thingy um, so, we're going to head over to mod blocks now. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, we're going to head over to mod blocks. We're going to add our block. So, it's a public static. Now, here we would put normally a block. But we're going to do block tin slab half. And call it tin slab half. Public static block tin slab double tin slab double. And just control shift O to import these. Um, now we're just going to do tin slab half is equal to new block tin slab half. And what we're going to do is put the unlocalized name to tin underscore slab underscore half. And then tin slab double equals, you guessed it, a new block tin slab double and it's just tin underscore slab underscore double simple as that now we're going to register the block so register block we want the one that has the item block the block is the half version and what we're going to do is a new item slab press control space get the method uh, the block is whatever block we're using so that's a tin slab half 
the half, the single slab is the half version, and a double slab is obviously the double version. And now all we want to do here, we're not going to use our own method because we don't need an item for this, and that's because well the double version doesn't need an item. So all we're going to do is dot register, and it's just a tin slab double. And just down the bottom, just need to register the render. And all we need to do is register the render for the half version. We don't need to do it for the double version because it's not going to have an item. Okay, so the game is loaded up. So let's go inside of our test world and we should now see a working tin slab which is going to be like so cool i know i'm so excited tin slab okay so i already have it in my inventory and as you can see i've been building with it you can place it correctly so that places it on the top and on the bottom which is absolutely beautiful and you can place both of them and you get a full block now what i'm going to do is if you look here in ji i've already searched slab here's our tin slab and um, there's no recipe for it yet but i will add that in between episodes but what you can do is if I just grab myself a pickaxe and, um, well, let's just uh, place two of these and go into survival. What you can do is actually break this and you should see we get two of these tin slabs. Place them back and it works every single time. So you could say make a beautiful bridge, I don't know, out of your beautiful new slab. Yeah. So... Thank you guys for watching, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I am out.